Hello everyone, let's go and do a quick little comparison between the Google Pixel 9 and the iPhone 15 and see which particular phone is a better one for you. Now, obviously the Pixel 9 has just came out. I'm going to get my hands on it very, very soon. But the thing I would definitely tell you between both, lots of similarities, lots of overlap here. They're both roughly around the same price in the brand new market, although the iPhone 15 is probably going to be replaced very soon, so keep that in mind. In terms of the new changes, the Pixel 9 is giving you a 6.3 inch OLED display, 120 hertz, 2700 nits of brightness, which is really nice, and you know, it's a very good panel. Whereas on the iPhone 15, smaller 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display, 2000 nits of brightness here, and 60 hertz. So from those things that I just said right there, I would probably say that the Pixel 9 is probably going to be the better panel in some ways, probably in every way, than the iPhone 15. USB Type-C ports on the bottom, flat sides, you're getting a frosted glass back on both these with dual camera setups. Both phones have wireless charging, the Pixel 9 has reverse wireless charging, and even from the battery size, the battery size of the Pixel 9 is significantly bigger than the battery of the iPhone 15. 3349 million power battery inside of the iPhone 15, 4700 million power battery inside of the Pixel 9. So that right there is a very big difference just in and of itself. In terms of the cameras, lots of good, you know, improvements here on the Google Pixel 9 side, but you're still getting, you know, basically the same type of camera layout, 4K60 on the front and the back. I probably would say the Pixel 9 is going to have some improvements here and there, but I'll be curious to see how both these phones kind of compare from the camera setup when I officially get them in hand. In terms of software updates, they're both, they're both going to be supported with software for many, many years to come, so nothing really going on there. And also even from the performance side, the iPhone 15 has that Apple A16 bonic chip inside of it with 6 gigs of RAM, with the Pixel 9 has that Tensor G4 chip set inside with 12 gigabytes of RAM. So this is going to be a very interesting thing that kind of ends up happening here, because you might end up getting a better performing phone inside of the Pixel 9 with way more RAM, twice the amount of RAM than the iPhone 15. So those are kind of the big highlights. I cannot wait to get these Pixel 9s in hand so I can test them. But in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.